Mark Spencer for tonight's game of the Spring Partnership. And the ball of Spencer is close to close and high.
I'm not sure overriding emotions after tonight's victory. Um, overriding emotion is one of you know happy to t happy to pick up the three points. Um, it's been well documented, I suppose, the season to date that we've had and and what we've had to try and do in the last four or five games to put things right and, and, and get back to the way we want to be. And you know the aim tonight, as I said on Saturday, was to try and go five on the bounce and to try and um, keep that wee run that we're on going at this point in time. And you know, obviously it's a really tough place to come to. You know, Lauren play some some great stuff, um, but I thought the boys were on it tonight to a man. And you know we got off to a good start. It gave us something to hold, and and I thought it was a very composed performance. And I changed the system tonight. Yeah, that obviously worked well. Yeah, and again. <laughs> I think the way it's looking in this next few weeks and months is there's so many games coming that um, it's not a case of probably starting the same team. Nick Skinner was brilliant on Saturday, he scores a good goal, and as he said himself, you know, he finds himself on, on the bench tonight. And um, that's life, and, that, and that's the way it goes. And we've got to try and manage the whole squad and use everybody. And we just felt tonight um, that possibly to go about it a slightly different way might give us a stronger foothold in the game. And uh, I thought, particularly in the first half, it was good. And in the second half, Knowing that we've got a lot of cross balls as well, we you know we ended up with three centre halves on the pitch the whole game, which which helped us from that point of view as well. And Lauren pulled the goal back, but we showed great resilience. They hang on. Yeah, it's probably the only disappointment to be fair. I think there's possible foul on on Gareth that we would create looks as if he's been held back or there's been big contact on him, um, and just disappointing um, with how well we've defended. I think to come as we know and get results against a lot of the bigger sides, um, it's important that you don't concede from set pieces. So it it gave them a bit of a shot in the arm that we didn't want in the last fifteen. But I thought even beyond that, I thought we managed it really really well you know there's no big scares after that bar I suppose the one that hits the bar but apart from that um, I thought we managed it well Skinner come on and, and done his bit as well in relation to holding it up and, and keeping us up the pitch so um, all in all you know just a, a, a good night for us and, and now we charge the batteries hopefully for Saturday and speaking of Saturday for Sears at home it'll be another blockbuster <laughs> we just go from from mammoth to mammoth uh, big game to big game so um, and Crusaders at home will be no different so there's a lot of tired bodies in there it's been it's tough when you have a bit of a break as well it's tough you know the 10 days or we off doesn't really help from that point of view and then you go back into a three game week straight away or, or six of them I suppose that we have coming up um, but with that it's important now that you know we rest and recharge and, and we see, what, see where we're at for Saturday. Well Stevie a massive shift tonight and a, and a great three points. Brilliant Johnny, um, we're delighted, um, really tough place to come, uh, full time team and the, the way we played was brilliant, great start and you, you need that coming to grounds I guess so uh, we're delighted. Um, it's a long run of fixtures now, so you know, we hope they can continue the run and we're five unbeaten now. And the only disappointment was probably Lauren pulling one back, but we showed great resilience to, to hang on. We did, and that, you know, the, it's one of them ones with a clock. Twelve minutes to go, I was looking at the clock every minute, and it, it seemed to be forever. Uh, because they're a really good team, they move the ball well, and uh, no matter any time you're coming here, never made a Tuesday night after a really tough game Saturday, so you know, we're delighted with the one. Um, coming here tonight, we, we came to win, but at the same time, they probably would have took a draw, but you know, um, we're delighted to stick it over the line. And a busy run of fixtures ahead. Uh, how did you get yourself up for that? Um, from my point of view, just, uh, I'll just try and manage my body and uh, not worry too much about uh, too far ahead. Um, I think we have a good squad. We we're in good shape. Born signed well. Um, I'm, I'm kind of happy with how we look at the minute. And we have good numbers uh, all across the park. The park so um, I'm quietly confident, but at the same time. You know, you can go in the, uh, the opposite run of farm as well, so because uh, as we proved this season, uh, so you know we'll keep at it. We'll keep at it, um, and then hopefully the, the good results can continue. And Crusaders on Saturday, another match against your brother. And what are you expecting from that one? They are a really tough game. They're, they're in a good run of farm. Uh, I know they, they agree tonight. They gained a few points, so if we can try and beat them on Saturday, um, we'll, we'll edge closer to them and then on the top top of the uh, table. So from our point of view, we want to be back to the top of the table. We're kind of disappointed probably where we are now. But um, there's a good mentality in the changing room. We're, we've good one and a mentality, and we've shown that over the last few years. And for me personally, I think looking from their point of view, the teams above us, they really want to see us coming. 